Hello friends, in today's video I'm going to talk you through how I made this lovely little birdhouse. It's a very simple project so it would be perfect for somebody just starting with decoupage. I used very simple products in this so you should be able to find them in all of your local art and craft shops. So with that being said, let's get started. The first thing that I do is give my birdhouse a light sand using medium grid sandpaper. This one was 120 I believe. I give it a light sand all over the outside of the house and then once it's all sanded smooth I apply my chalk paint over the top to prep the surface to make sure that when I apply my napkins and further paint they all stick very nicely and they also make the plywood a little bit stronger. So what I use here is Rust-Oleum chalk paint in white and I applied two layers over the roof of the house because that's where I'm going to be applying my decoupage napkin so I want my surface to be as white as possible and then I applied one coat of paint over the rest of my birdhouse using it instead of the primer. Once my paint was dry I went ahead and I applied my decoupage napkin over the top so this time I decided to use ironing method and I also filmed a full talk through tutorial for using ironing method so if you want more detail on how to do that then go ahead and check the link in the description but basically I apply one layer of Mod Podge over the roof of the house where I want my napkin to be and I let it dry then once Mod Podge is dry I apply my napkin to do that I separate the top layer from the rest of the napkin so you only need the top layer for this and I put it over the roof of the house then I put a sheet of baking paper, also uh, known as parchment paper, and I gently iron my napkin. So you want to use the lowest heating setting on your iron that you have. And then once I'm happy with how my napkin is on, that it's all adhered everywhere, I leave it to dry. And once it's dry, I use water-based varnish to seal my napkin. So instead of using another layer of glue, I use varnish. But again, like I said, if you want explanation in detail on how to use ironing method, then go ahead and check out the video in the description. So after my varnish was dry, I go ahead and start painting the rest of the birdhouse. So as you can see at this moment in time, my birdhouse looks slightly different from the photos. And that's because my original idea was to paint it grey and blue, but I did not like the way that it turned out. So I ended up repainting it completely blue. But the reason why I'm showing you this clip is because I do decorate the ridges and that's how they are going to stay, apart from me adding more blue. Um, but basically what I'm doing is I've got this blue and grey mix here and I dab my sponge dabber into blue and grey slightly, dab the excess off onto my palette and gently dab over the ridges and that creates this lovely faded effect on the ridges of the roof of the birdhouse. And then I repainted my house. So to get this colour, I mixed some of that grey colour that you can see on the palette there together with a little bit of ultramarine acrylic paint and that gave me this lovely vintage blue colour. So I applied two layers of this paint all over the birdhouse. Then using the same paint that I used to prime the birdhouse, I whitewashed the house. So what I mean by that is that I aged the house using white paint, added that lovely shabby chic look to it using my favourite dry brushing method. So basically I'm using a dry natural bristle brush. I pick up a tiny little bit of paint with my brush, I dab the excess off onto my palette and then any paint that is left over, I smudge it all across the board. I paid special attention to the windows because I wanted them to stand out a little bit. And then the ridges of the house, I wanted to make them white so that they kind of frame the house a little bit. And then I just kind of went all across the board to add that lovely aged look. So the last little bit of decorating that I did was add a little bit of paint splatters and to do that again I take my chalk paint, I take a dry natural bristle brush 
and I pick up a little bit of paint and just using my finger I make little splatters with the paint all over the birdhouse and after leaving my paint to dry for about 12 hours or so I apply my final finish so the varnish that I decided to use was heavy duty wood varnish by polyvine this turned out to be the best fit out of the varnishes that I do have it is non-toxic food safe and child safe once it is dry and of course for a birdhouse it is important for it to be non-toxic just in case if any birds decide to um, have a little snack on it so i will report back to you how this birdhouse does with this varnish um, in the outside conditions because i'm planning to keep this birdhouse so i can monitor how well it does in the outside world but that is the end of the video that's all i did to this birdhouse so as you can see a very very simple project as always if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more projects from me if you have any questions or suggestions or anything like that leave them in the comment section down below all of my social media links, any kind of ways to contact me, also my shop link is down in the description below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!